If you really want to, you can find roses, you can give them to girls and they become your girlfriend. Which is, you know, nice if you're feeling alone. Uh, and they will fight. And they throw high heel shoes at each other. It's quite a marvel to watch, to be fair. It's a bit like being in Liverpool City Centre on a night. What's going on, you guys? My name is CPK. Welcome back to another video on my channel. For those of you who are old school fans of mine, you'll remember that I actually uh, got my first real go at YouTube, my first like blow up moment from a series called Crazy Craft. I've decided to revisit that series years later to see if Crazy Craft is still difficult. Crazy Craft was the most ridiculous, difficult thing I'd ever played back in the day. Made much more fun by the fact I was on a series with a bunch of my friends, but I want to go back and try it out again. So this is actually a mod pack called Kinda Crazy Craft. It's pretty much the same, but it's updated. So it's actually on Min uh, Minecraft 1.14.5. So way newer, because Crazy Craft was 1.7. So, and with that comes some new additions uh, and some exclusions from the previous mod pack. So I'm very excited to check this out and see what it's like. It's probably going to be a one-off video, honestly. Just to show you guys who are not familiar with Crazy Craft, just how wild Crazy Craft can be, hopefully. Like I said, I don't know what kind of game I'm going to get here. So far, black screen and one FPS. And a not responding screen. Oh, so we have spawned in a desert, which from my memory was one of the more dangerous places. To... Oh, we've actually spawned right next to a, a village. Oh, no, I'm in quicksand. Ah, oh, you see, this is why it's a problem, guys. Absolute nightmare, right? I've got to dig this out until I stop sinking. This is perfect. And get out now, right? We're out. As you can see, the map actually shows entities on it, so you can see that there are multiple things. What is that? Oh, my, that is not from. It looks angry. It's coming towards me. That, it's a cockatrice. Okay, we're gonna run. Cockatrices are never good. So this is a desert village. Oh, right next to a regular vi What is this spawn? This is mad. But yeah, this is, uh, Crazy Craft is just a ridiculous mod pack. I can't recommend it enough. It was actually created by- Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go away, go away, go away. Go away. She's in the quicksand. We're safe. Okay, go run, run, run. We're not safe now. Um, so it was actually made by Atlanticraft, um, who's now a good friend of mine, actually. But uh, back in the day, I just played on his mod pack with all of my friends, and we absolutely loved it. So let's take a look around this village, see what we can find. Okay, some books. Oh. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to hit me. Oh, is he going to hit me? I'm so scared of him. Uh, right, we'll just take whatever we can for now. Does he like apples or something? Can I have a pet? <gasps> I've got a pet ostrich. Oh, it flies. Okay. Right. Let's calm that down, shall we? But the key thing I want to do here is loot. So let's see what we got in some of these looty chests. All right. Dark steel. Thormium ingot. Crowbar. Coal coke. Redstone alloy. on oh, and some leggings. Yes. Protect me, boys. I'm trying to see what I recognize back from when I played. So far, the answer is not a lot. What is blowing up? I just keep hearing random explode. What is that? What's the Thormonomicon? Oh my, oh, okay. Thaumaturgy. Alchemy, uh, okay, right, that's clear. That's clear from a mod that we did not have in the multiplayer version. So back in the day, some of the mods didn't work in multiplayer, so we had to remove a bunch. So there's probably some things in here I don't even recognize. I'm trying to find the source of the explosions. Where for art thou, explosions? I'm gonna try and make a really ballsy jump here. This could be stupid. Yeah, it was stupid, ow, I'm all right. Oh, there's a chest in here. I'm all about looting these chests. Wooden pans, slime pans, obsidian pans. Yeah, I, I don't know what any of that means. I don't know who that man is. But these things are what I came here for. This has a bunch of railway stuff in usually. Ooh, and some overalls. Protection 2, protection 5. Oh, well, sadly, the overalls don't quite make the cut. Advanced rails, Chris, creosote bottles. I don't even know what half this stuff means. Right, there's so much to explore. Let's go to the other. There's another village on this other side. You used to be able to I think you can throw the rocks. Yeah, you can throw the rocks as a weapon. Maybe keep with me just in case we get approached by anyone shady looking. I don't know. Jack sucks. He's a shady fella. Oh, this place looks well nicer than the desert one, though. I'm sure there's going to be loads of great stuff in here. So if you were actually playing this multiplayer, honestly, the spawn I got, or even single player, to be fair, the spawn I got was probably one of the best spawns you could get. Two massive villages nearby. A desert temple nearby. It's got it all going on. This would be perfect because the best way to get started in a series like this is to get lucky in finding uh, a bunch of chests and stuff. Right, I feel like the explosion was coming from over here. So I'm going to dig under the wall now. What's been blowing up? Oh my! It's a cockatrice, it's a cockatrice, it's a cockatrice, run! Ostrich, protect me! 
I don't even know if you're capable of doing that, but please protect me. Oh, Matt. The Hornets as well are like a boss. They're a nightmare. They really are a nightmare. Oh, there's two. There's three. There's three of them. What do you call an angry group of cockatrices? I don't know the answer to that question. Right, I'm, I'm living in here now. I don't know who this man is. <gasps> it's a witch. You're not skilled in the art. Okay. So I believe if I become skilled in thaumaturgy, she will talk to me more. I believe. Okay. This, oh, my. The scorpions make frog noises in this world. Stand back from me. Yeah. Oh, we have the thing where you can become other mob. Wait, is it still these buttons? It is. I'm a scorpion. Sometimes they can give you good benefits. So you may be able to like, climb. Oh, yeah. See, look, I can climb buildings by just running into them, which is really sick. Very hard to go down certain places when you're... Attaching yourself to every wall. I feel like a spider right now. Estrella Ripley. Wait, wasn't that the... Isn't that the witch? Oh my god, no. Uh-oh. Well, we're done for, boys. Something's making cat noises. For all I know, it could be my ostrich. Nothing makes sense. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the scorpion's gonna come out, right? We would try... Oh no. We've been cut off. It's over for us, boys and girls. So it actually gives you your death info so you can see where you was and what you had. So make it It's good to work out whether it's worth going back for your stuff. What is making the ribbit noises? Wild. All right. I saw another house over here. Is there any safety? Let's get out of here, boys and girls. Oh. Yeah, he seems legit. Oh. Oh, everyone's out to get me. Whoa, she throws stuff. You see why this is a hazard? She throws ender pearls. What is happening? What is that thing fighting over there? Honestly, this series is mental. A forest. Is that safe? I don't, I don't really know if it's safe, honestly. Oh my. Okay. They chased me because they are Endermen, technically. Endermen with a big sword. I'm not keen, to be honest. I'm not keen. Achievement. Sky of beginning. I, just, I picked up a plant. Oh, he's still chasing me. Go away. Leave me. I don't have any food anymore, either. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Ah! Yeah, there it is. Amazing. Okay, so to actually make this video somewhat remotely interesting, I've given myself a set of armor and a weapon. Uh, basically, the best armor and the best weapon you can get in the game. This is the Big Bertha Sword. It does 500 damage. So, you know, it, it does 485 too much damage to kill that. But here are some of the things that randomly spawn in this game. Here's a giant scorpion. Just randomly spawned on the wall of this castle. Um, how strong is it? I don't- Emperor Scorpion. Not a clue. But you can see there that this, the strongest weapon in the game, did not one-hit it, alright? So, this thing is strong. Luckily, the Big Bertha has really, really far reach. So, like, y you can kill from really far away. And, oh my god, and I'm still not safe from blooming quicksand. Right, what does he drop? Bunch of obsidian, it looks like. And some scales. So, I would honestly say there was no real objective with Crazy Craft when I played it. Back when I played it, it was purely just for me and my friends to have a fun SMP on. Um, so, there was no real goals. What it did provide was hundreds and hundreds of episodes of content. There is so much stuff to do. I mean, you can see just from this, 291 pages of, of things to do. There were so many mods that you could specialize in. The crashes weren't that bad. Once we took out some of the things, uh, the crashes really stopped. The only thing I will say is that the world got very laggy because obviously there's like 147 mods, I think. I, I know for a fact, 100 million percent, because I know you guys are going to comment about it, that why don't we do another series of Crazy Craft? I know for a fact that the people I did Crazy Craft with would not do another series of Crazy Craft because it's pretty much the same still. There's not really anything new. The difference is obviously I feel that I actually know what I'm doing kind of with Minecraft now. And by that, I, I mean, I use that very loosely. I don't really know what I'm doing. But here's another really bad, uh, really bad boss in the game here. But yeah, I, I mean, I would do another one, but it would be with a completely different set of people if I could arrange it. Because I know for a fact that the people I know wouldn't do it. Obviously, I would offer it to them, but I know they're not going to. So I'd have to find different people. So it's completely up to you guys if that's something you'd like to see. If it is, let me know because I can get a server set up and I can find some people to play with. I'm assuming I'll be able to find some people. So let me know. So this sword that I have right now, the Big Bertha, is actually uh, one of the... It's the hardest thing in the game to get, pretty much. Uh, barring maybe the armor that I have. 
And that is because you have to get a multitude of things. I can probably show you any minute once I get out of this water. So you can see, to make the sword, you have to have a blade, a handle, and a guard. Now, to get the handle, you have to kill five other bosses in the game. To get the guard, there's a multitude of bosses to kill again as well. And to get the blade, again, a multitude of bosses and the strongest sword you can get without using the Big Bertha, um, the ultimate sword. Then you get all those, mix them together to get this absolute beast of a sword. And I know what you're thinking. Doesn't that make you OP on the server? Is there any way anyone can keep up with you? Surely you can just one-hit everything. And the answer is, you absolutely cannot one-hit everything. I'm going to go back into creative just to fly to a new place because this is all on water. Ah, uh, so I have a perfect example now, a perfect opportunity to show you. These are attack squids. They are 10 HP, very small, very easy to kill. Now, one of the things you need to get is a drop from a Kraken to build this sword. And uh, to get a Kraken, you basically just kill these guys and one might spawn. And the rain is a good sign. The rain is a very good sign that we're going to get one. Basically like a giant squid. Oh. I fell from a high place. I mean, to be fair, that is what a Kraken would do. But I didn't see one. Was it just above me? Okay, great. You do also get these fun little death markers too, which I kind of like. You know, it keeps you on track. I eventually had to turn these off when I played Crazy Craft because uh, there were so many death markers because I died, oh my god, so much. Ah, there it is. So somehow I didn't see this, but this is the Kraken. Absolute unit, I know. Um, and he does this. He picks you up and just drops you, leaving you to die. Um, so you got to kill him to get part, just one part of what you need. So yeah, he picks you up and drops you from a really high place. Um, you'll be able to kill him in a few hits with the Big Bertha, but obviously at this point, if you're fighting him, you probably don't have the Big Bertha, or else why are you fighting him? The good news is Crazy Craft is a series that will never leave you, uh, alone, because if you really want to, you can find roses or any other flowers, and, uh, you can give them to girls, and they become your girlfriend, which is, you know, nice if you're feeling alone. There you go, I've just got three, uh, and they will fight, and they throw high heel shoes at each other. It's quite a marvel to watch, to be fair. It's a bit like being in Liverpool City Centre on a night. Again, the crab's also a boss. The sea viper, also a boss that you'll need parts from to get the Big Bertha. But I figure I'll show you the craziest part of this mod pack before we wrap this video up, which is, of course, what I like to call the extreme bosses. So I'm actually going to go into creative for these because they will kill me. So there's a multitude of dimensions in this mod pack. And uh, in those dimensions, uh, there are bosses specific to that dimension. Uh, one of which I'm not sure how to spawn. Two of which I'm okay with knowing how to spawn. The first one I'm going to show you is this little black egg here, the queen spawner. The queen is a boss in the game. She's unreal. She's very scary. Yeah. So there she is. So she has 6,000 HP. She's an absolute unit of destruction. And you can see by hitting her with the big Bertha, I do 80 damage at a time. And now she's just stressed out. Oh, I spawned two by accident. But you can see, even this, the most powerful sword in the game, only actually does around 50 or 60 damage to the queen. The queen being, I would say, the third strongest boss in this game, I'm pretty sure. No idea what that is. It is absolutely frightening. Oh, it's a person. Oh, and the girlfriends have spawned, and they're now scrapping with it. Oh, come on. Get him away. Get him away. Classic girlfriend behavior. The next boss I want to show you is the king. Uh, and the king is goes hand in hand with the queen, I suppose, uh, in that he's the protector of a dimension as well. There you go. So he is slightly stronger at 7,000 HP uh, and has, you know, three heads, which is pretty sick. He will just start destroying everything. Um, he caused quite a problem. It, what the hell is happening here? Well, they're now dead. I have no idea what these people... I've never seen these in my life. Not a clue. Eldritch Obelisk. Okay, clearly there's a lot to learn still. And I would say he's the second strongest boss in the game. Meaning that, I know it's surprising, but that does actually mean there is a stronger boss. Oh uh, yeah, the, the king causes lightning storms as well. It's very annoying. Smites you wherever you are. It's quite stressful. And the final boss that I would say is harder than any other boss in the game to spawn. I actually don't even know how you spawn him, like, naturally. The other two bosses I just showed you are from their own dimensions, where they will spawn. This is Mobzilla. Mobzilla is a unit. Uh, you're about to see him. So, less HP... But more destructive, I feel. Because he'll even attack other enemies. Like, he's willing to fight the scorpion. 
So it's actually Mobzilla and Mobzilla Head. They have separate body parts. And you can see he is just destroying absolutely everything. My game's really struggling to keep up, to be fair. Lots of lightning. He's very, very adamant on killing this scorpion for some reason. He's now in the water. Not entirely sure what's going on. But as you can see, Crazy Craft is still as crazy as ever. So if you do want to see another series of this, I can try and organize some sort of uh, server of people that want to play it. Um, like I said, it will not be the same people as I played it with the first time. A lot of them I know have zero interest in it. I will ask them, of course, but I guarantee it's going to be 80% of the server says no. Whereas I would actually love to do it again just because it's been so long since I played it properly. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.